and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Zed Shen. Bring this deck back. I'm not expecting us to go 10 and 0 like the last time we played it. Man, we got lucky quite a bit there, but um, this is definitely my kind of deck. I like these challenger units. Um, I really like Shen paired with challenger stuff. And then also we're playing Zed instead of Fiora to put a lot more pressure on the opponent. And Zed just pairs really well with Shen, of course, with Shen being able to protect the Zed while it's attacking. Um, yeah, our deck's pretty good. The only change that we're making some, from last time is we're going to take out Will of Ionia. We'll see how that goes, taking that out now that Will of Ionia costs five mana. And we had two Will of Ionias before, and instead now we're playing a second Concerted Strike, because we only had one of those, and a second Single Combat, because we also only had one of those. So we're going to play two of each of those cards instead. There is, There really is not that much Will of Ionia running around. And so I do wonder if this would be a good time for Unyielding Spirit, to be honest. Um, you know, maybe Unyielding Spirit, maybe Judgment. Like, maybe these two cards are going to be better these days with there being less and less Will of Ionia. I'm still not playing any. I would think that to fit one in, we could maybe take out, like, one Spirit's Refuge to fit one in. That would maybe be the spot that, that I would be looking at there. Um, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just keep it as is for now. Um, so here we go. Yeah, I think I think this is the most competitive Shen deck at the moment. Um, I could see I could see going with Shen Fiora also, which is you know basically the same deck playing Fiora instead of Zed for the most part. Really don't need to change that much else. So I mean I, I could see that. That's basically the same deck. Um, yes, I would recommend playing River Shaper instead of Shadow Assassin in a Fiora Shen deck. Yes. Yes, I would recommend doing that. Okay, Hecarim and Callista. We'll get rid of our barrier cards. I basically just always mulligan the four mana barrier cards to start with. But I like Protege into Shen. We're looking for one or two drop. There's one drop. You just want to curve out with your units, and so you mulligan the spells to try to have that, because you'll just draw more spells, you know, like we draw Stand United, Spirits Refuge, like those are perfectly fine. But the important thing is curving out with your units. Well, it's not doing a whole lot. I don't want to see Dark Water Scourge Deathmark, I could see that. Um, you know, could see them doing that, I don't want them to do that. Haha. <laughs> Ooh, they missed. So maybe deny, maybe. I mean, probably not Will of Ionia. You would have said maybe Will of Ionia previously, but probably deny. I. I am inclined to Concerted Strike, kill the Neverglade Collector. You're covered. Duty, selflessness, heavy burdens. We'll just do that. Just get that out of here with us having another concerted strike. I sense an imbalance. Honor guide. Two 
It doesn't really matter where we put the shield, on Shen or not on Shen. Their best card probably is Rekindler. One candle for every so they got that. Um, let's see, Shen's about to level up. I guess I'll let them attack. Okay, no attacks. So I got 11 mana. I don't get to play either of these and have Stand United and Spirit's Refuge. Unfortunately. Enforced Equilibrium. I'm worried about Ruination. I'm worried about playing like one of these things, and then they just play Ruination. I kind of I wish I would have just played Zed the previous turn. But if I don't do anything, then yeah, they can have Harrowing the next turn. It's tough. Uh, yeah, it's tough. Protect and strike. My steel is fought. They are under my protection. Come from the dark. Well, I can go for lethal with double spirits refuge on the Shen, and it's basically. Uh, I guess they could have other things to stay alive. Yeah, that's true. If they were planning on Ruination, they'd probably just attack last turn. That definitely seems reasonable. So it's most likely Harrowing. Right now. I don't know. I feel like I probably could have played this a lot better. I mean, I should have played the Zed the previous turn. Would have made my life a lot better. I am the blade in the darkness. Yeah, it's kind of played into what they had going on. Return to us. That and Genevieve Elmar. Let's get another blocker out of here. Blade. Try 
Try, try to do 12. Try still do still do 12. Seem to seem to have a good amount of Ionia cards in that Wraith Crawler deck. Okay, GG's. You fought with honor. One and O. Oh. Didn't take the cleanest path to victory, but we got there. Zed pumping up everything with the barriers, helping out. And so, yeah, that's good. Winning a later game there against a, a deck after they play three Hecarums. Um, you said the two Concerted Strikes looks great. I mean... Honestly, Will of Ionia would have been better than Concerted Strike, especially the second one. How uh, we killed the Hecarim. If we would have just bounced Hecarim, because you know we killed the Hecarim, then they played Rekindler that brought the Hecarim back. If we just bounced it. They would have just been replaying just the Hecarim. They wouldn't have had, wouldn't have had the additional four four also. That wouldn't have, wouldn't let them block with that four four that other turn, and then miss called back and stuff like that on it. So. Will of Ionia would have actually been better that game, which was... Is this, is this the same opponent or something? Which I was going to say seemed to be a kind of a weird game that... Because of Rekindler. Hey, Biz. I'm doing good. How are you doing? I don't like that draw step. Yeah, Draven Jinx is pretty hard to play. Yeah, with all that discarding and everything. That is that is a tricky one for sure. I am the blade in the darkness. Um, I think new Heimerdinger is is basically as good as the old one. I don't think it. I, don't, I think that Heimerdinger is still quite good. I do think. Um, the flash of brilliance nerf has hurt Heimerdinger. Something like that's that's the biggest thing that's hurt Heimerdinger more than just moving around different turrets. Um, but yeah, Heimerdinger is still playable. Uh, but yeah, the Flash of Brilliance nerf really eliminates the huge upside that Heimerdinger can have. A weird thing to block. Should just be blocking Shen. Yeah, they're just gonna have that die anyway. They should block Shen and get four damage on Shen. have missed call. That's okay. I'm gonna deal with some 4-3s. That's fine with me. Um, if I let them attack with Hecarim, then their Kalista's level up. So... I guess we do this. Yeah, but even with the miss call, yeah, they should still block the Shen. Should have been the block. Agreed. Enforced equilibrium. Our wills 
alive. So yeah, doing that... So doing the repost pre-combat worked for two things. One, obviously we get to attack with two seven powers, which is nice. But then two, that's two barriers because the leveled up Zed gives it the exact same. So it's two barriers towards Shen. So now we have a leveled up Shen. And so now we have even more barrier stuff. Like now we have even more ability to add in damage with that. So we just have another repost. And the other repost would do 10 damage to them. Game. You fought with honor. We definitely had a good curve there. War chefs, Zed, Shen. You know, like I'll take that every single game. Turns two, three, four of War chefs, Zed, then Shen. You know, then we had concerted strike. Or I guess then we went Swiftwing Lancer, and then concerted strike on six and uh, double repost. On seven for the win. This is a good Shen matchup. A three five, a four mana three five matches up well against the stuff that they got. We'll get rid of this. Stand United, even though maybe we shouldn't. It's great with Caretaker. But, I mean, it's just an expensive spell. It's always Mulligan, the expensive spells. See? They'll come back. If they were supposed to be there, they'll come back. Yes. Similar to Shen, Lux, a little more aggressive. I like this version more myself. That's a good card. And I'm glad I played the one drop now with that. Um, Smell that? A fight to cook it. I'm not going to attack with 3-2 and trade with their 2-2. I'd rather my 3-2 trade with War Chefs. They want to come block, come attacking in here. I want to block there. Looking for trouble? It found you. Um, I mean, yeah, so they're still going to block there. Take four. I am the blade in the darkness. Let's get to it. The dead don't need rich eat up, friend. That's a good attack. That was a good attack. Um Yeah, that was a good attack by them. Eyes bigger. It's really Bright Steel Protector. I can't, I can't really think of anything else that would punish me for playing the Proje first. Like, yeah, it's about the only thing I can think of. My shield is yours. Oh, I do have Bright Steel Protector. Gross. So that means that means I have to challenge here now. In order for the Zed to get in. I could also just not attack with Zed. But basically, if I would have just challenged the 2-2 with my protege, we'd have a we have a 2-2 protege, theirs would be dead. But now we have a 2-1 instead of a 2-2, but then Zed is one out of two as far as leveling up goes. That's really annoying. Oh, uh, that's really annoying. And they, they, yeah, they, they got the cards. Mm. Let's 
strength and grace, beauty in the play. This is our way. This will not take long. Love ya. Always forward. They also just have rally. If they get to play this and rally, oh my gosh, what a hand. That's just game over. Like that that is actually game over. Right, this isn't is it? Our way. Pretty sure it is. Oh my gosh, they didn't they didn't kill me. Misfortune needs to be attacking. Like, why are they not attacking Misfortune? That's a 4-4 overwhelm that I can't I can't block. Like that I was I was dead if they just attacked with Misfortune. Now, close my eyes, make now I get up. to block here and go to two. Yeah, I think I blocked that. Yeah, they could have killed me if they would have just attacked my fortune. Quiet of the woods. There's nothing like it. belong to us. They just took it? Did he even block with the 2 4? navigator will not be dying today no sir not dying <laughs> I mean they did have to just yeah you know, like it, it would have been a chump block where theirs would have died and mine would not have died uh, but still they kind of needed to block uh, I guess maybe they were you know they didn't realize that my green glade caretaker got the plus two plus zero from the uh, barrier that I played. I'm, that's that's like the only thing that I can think of. Is that they thought that they were going to be going down to two. And I played the barrier and they didn't adjust. And just, you know, were like, okay, yeah, I'm going to two. And took it. And then they're like, oh, no, caretaker grew. That would be my, that'd be my, like, my best guess of what just happened there. Well... This is the toughest matchup because this is the toughest matchup for every single possible deck because this is the best deck. Cross by mid range. Good against everything. Doesn't mean it wins 100% of the time, of course. But it takes a whole lot to beat it, that's for sure. War shafts. War shafts. Darn. I don't really want to play Bright Seal Protector right now. I play Vanilla 3-2. That card can be more valuable, especially with leveling up the Shen. 
than just vanilla 3-2. Now, Who does not know the name, I'm going to go with Protégé. Culling Strike, also a problem with this deck that we're playing. Darkness. And so I want to have Repost protect against Culling Strike. By me, and I had that mana because I didn't play the Bright Steel Protector on at turn two. Swiftly now. We both want what is best for Ionia, and only one of us pursues it. So they kind of need harsh winds. Right? Yeah, they kind of need harsh winds. I think I'm going to go... My shield is yours. Honor. I'm going to go with like the double bear, you know, double bright steel protector. My best play against harsh winds. I guess they could have uh, Reckoning. That'd be a huge bummer. And now Ice Veil Archer is a big bummer. Uh... You're covered. Duty, selflessness, heavy burdens. Hmm. That's kind of weird. This is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking I take this, take that, and then they have to block with Ash. But I sense an imbalance. But they just block Shen, right? And they're they're not too mad about blocking Shen. So what if? What if instead we go like this? And then my Shen levels up. It's kind of weird, but my Shen levels up and it's now a 4-6. And now their Ash can't really block my Shen. Yeah, now they don't have to block to survive. That's true. That's true. But now my Shen's not going to die. My Shen's very valuable. Shen's arguably better than Ash right here, just in this small game of like, win, you know, winning the game in the next turn or two. These are our lands. Two Culling Strikes gone. Reckoning... Reckoning is the, the worst card to, to possibly see. Obviously, for... So, you know, that's... That's just the card that I can't really beat. Yeah, if we would have had the one mana plus... Yeah, we could have the one mana plus one plus one. To kill him. Radiant Strike... to no one. 
six, seven. So I could go Z plus Concerted Strike. Yeah, I think that's what we do. It's either that or, like, the, the safer play is just play Genevieve, where then this is going to be a 1-7, and then it's a lot, you know, then it's difficult to kill. The The problem with Z plus Concerted Strike is Elixir of Iron. But if they had Elixir of Iron, they were probably blocking last turn with Elixir of Iron, right? So this is the high upside is Z Concerted Strike. Let's, let's go for the high upside. I mean, Elixir of Iron is the... Well, also Brittle Steel. Brittle Steel also a problem. Oh no, yeah, you're right. Ash Frostbite said... Well, do they even attack him with Ash? Ooh, they don't attack him with Ash. Good. Even if... I was going to say, even if this doesn't work out, and they have Elixir of Iron or Brittle Steel, we still have a Zed in play now with all this stuff. And that's going to be... Like, where we need to go straight to attack. Everything to attack is Alright, beat the best deck. 4 0. And let's go. We don't, like, our games are really close. It's not like we're just, like, destroying people, even though we keep winning. The games are definitely close. Yeah, Shen's a lot of fun. Shen's a lot of fun. Here we go. Thank you, Cabo. Yep, that's that's the deck. That's the link to the deck right there. There's the expo export button on the right. Oh no. Gotta face the best deck again. Thanks, Shreve. Okay, we're gonna mulligan this the expensive spells. Lead with tracker. Hmm. I guess Caretaker. Yeah, I'll leave with Caretaker. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the Casino deck. Marpaletti. Yeah, played that yesterday. Or the day before, actually. No, yesterday. I don't know, one of those two. And it's right here. You can check that out. Smell that? A fight to cook it. A fight of cooking. A chill in the air. Play Zed? No. It's too vulnerable to kind of everything. You're covered. Good sign. Good sign. I will unite the frail yard. I am the blade in the darkness.
Alright, I guess we're just gonna go straight to combat. Even though it would be enticing to... Um, would be enticing to, you know, have these other things, but we just got, got too much stuff out already. We're going straight to combat. Their best thing they could have would be Elixir of Iron and then Reckoning. I guess I would have I would have single combat though, or you know, or concern strike, we would have that. But I'm just gonna let this happen. Down to three. So quick attack means that it only works on attacking, not on blocking, and it means that the quick attack unit will attack first, and then the um, and then the like it will do the damage first, and then the blocker will do the damage afterwards. Break their spirits and their swords. Still have the mana for both of these next turn. So they go reckoning, we kill their thing. Like I, I'm kind of in, like, like they're incentivized to, to try reckoning, right? Like they kind of have to try reckoning. There we go. So that should be game. They got no more mana. Should be game. There we go. So unless they have like six brittle steels. Yeah, so if their unit survives, then it will attack yours right back. Yep. Yep, because they're still in combat. So if you have like a, a three two quick attack and they have a two four, yours will do three damage to their four health, it'll stay alive, and then theirs will attack back. And we got the spirit of heroism. Got that quest. Gained some petals. What do we unlock over here? A thousand shards. So many shards. Third of the way towards a champion. Okay, cool. So where am I at? 158 petals. And we need 270. So that shouldn't be too bad. But it looks like I got went through all the quests. So now it's just I gotta win. You know, you get one pedal per win. We gotta win 120 games <laughs> before we get that. Um, but of course, the daily, the first daily win, you get three bonus ones. You get a fourth pedal. All right, but there we go. There's another 5-0 with this Zed Shen deck. As y'all know, the last time that we played this, yeah, we did the challenge 100 units. Um, that was wasn't too bad. I mean, I like. I like playing these challenger decks. I mean, that wasn't too difficult. Uh, but anyway, um, yeah, the last time we played this, remember we went 10-0 with this deck. And this time we just went 5-0 and, and we beat Frostbite Midrange twice. That last game was like a perfect hand, right? Our deck looked great of having like Caretaker into War Chefs into Tracker plus Bright Steel Protector turn three. That was pretty crazy. And then Zed turn four. Um, and whatever else we did. I think maybe we went like Protégé and Protégé and Bright Steel Protector again on five, and they're dead. Um, so yeah, I guess we're 15-0, we're our last 15 games of this deck. It's not like, I mean, a lot of those could have been losses. You know, it's not like we're just like easily winning. Like they, these games are, are really close. Like, you know, that's, that's the great part about Legends of Runeterra. We have been getting pretty fortunate though, you know, to... Uh, that's the only way you can really go 15-0 with anything, is getting fortunate. Um, 
yes i do like the labs and the gauntlets yeah i i like that there's just so many different ways to play that people can just have fun playing um some you know some weird games you know weird room terra that's the labs that's basically weird room terra and then um you know you can go with the gauntlets you know if you don't want to play in ranked if some people kind of have like the anxiety thing that don't like playing ranked you know you can just play the gauntlets and and you get the bonus xp for the gauntlets too so if you just want to be you want to be playing your normal deck without any like ranked pressure and also be earning more xp to be getting more stuff just go with those gauntlets um so there we go all right so that's that's it here for zed shen awesome deck another awesome showing and yeah a lot of close games um a lot of close games there but but fun ones definitely fun ones all right anybody anyway those y'all watched on youtube hit that like button over there let me know how this zed shen deck is going for you those y'all that have been playing it uh yeah leave those comments let me know how it's going for you and of course feel free to leave those comments about anything else also we got meme tier monday tomorrow if you got any deck ideas for meme tier monday feel free to let me know um but anyway that's it here for zed shen thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video